Hello, welcome pen friends. My name is Chris and I'm back with a very unusual video. I, I need your help. Um, I have just gotten a uh, microphone to use with my recording my videos and so this is sort of like a test video but it's actually with a purpose because um, actually this is a, a Boya BYM1 very inexpensive that I got from Amazon it was what I could afford had good reviews so what I thought I would do is I've gotten some ink in this week and I thought I'd go ahead and index them um, I've shown you up to this point of ink that has come in but um, pen friend whose initials are here uh, DS sent me seven samples and then today came in uh, seven more samples from pen friend SV so I'm going to swatch these because that's something I, I always like to really keep up with so let's start with these they came in first and um, it, you know while I'm doing these kinds of things I talk I mumble I do all kinds of stuff so I think this video may be really good for me to find out um, you know whether this is going to serve our purposes you know because uh, the microphone has generally been right here on the camera and if I turn my head away and right now I'm turning my head away way away you know then I could when I would re-listen to it it wasn't very good so anyway this is an experiment and who knows what's going to happen but I need to do this anyway I want to do this and see these beautiful colors that have come in so uh, we'll do it together and that'll serve the purpose of you seeing what has come in. These are numbered and I'm going to really uh, stick to the numbers so that I can uh, properly label the ink index. So let's see. I think that's one. Let me make sure. Five. Okay. There's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Okay. So we can go ahead and start. So this is number one. This is Noodler's. Sagura wine. Oh boy, that sounds good. <clears throat> this is one of the most fun things for me to do is to swatch ink. Oh, oh my goodness, this is pretty. Oh my goodness. And after, after I do these, I'll, I'll try and hold them up and maybe they'll start to dry as we, <clears throat> as I hold them up. <clears throat> oh, that's just really pretty. Oh my goodness. Woo wee. Okay, well that's going to really change the water. <laughs> see that? I bet you can see that in the background. Okay, so there's this one and I'll find my pit artist pen <clears throat> and we'll write the name. So it's Noodlers S-A-G-U-A-R-O Seguro Wine there okay beautiful beautiful okay let me hold it up um it's it's yeah it's wet it isn't dry yet it's actually a fuchsia so we're getting a little bit of a problem there we'll let it dry and see if maybe actually what it looks like right there that's what it looks like so <laughs> we'll just put this out of the way okay so then number two is here <coughs> excuse me uh oh all my little coffin is gonna probably come in better <laughs> all right here's another one so number two copper monteverde copper nor not dealing with a shimmer ink i should always check the bottoms just to make sure they're not a shimmer <clears throat> oh that's pretty nice oh that's just nice and flowy <laughs> you can tell We'll give you a little bit more over there since it seems like, yeah, it's just nice to see the actual color there on that white grid paper. That's kind of handy right there. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're talking about Monteverde. Whoops, I squeezed it on there. <clears throat> Copper Nor. I just need to say a big thank you to, well, to everyone who's been sending inks and things. And um, I also have some crystals here that we'll talk about it toward the end. Um, again, this needs to dry and it's, it's looking like itself down here. So that'll be your reference, but <laughs> oh mercy. Okay, that was two. Number three. This is number three. Okay. 
Here we go. I hope I don't run out of recording time. If I do, I'll just end the video sooner and finish watching on my own. But I thought you guys might like to see it because everything that comes in here is good for the channel. It's good for us to uh, compare to other similar colors. And it, whoops, and eventually will be profiled. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, this is Roar and Klinger S-C-A-B-I-O-S-A. -S -S I, I need to remember that I don't need to shout. <laughs> I, I actually kind of get in the habit of trying to talk real loud because I knew I didn't have a proper microphone. So that's something I really probably need to work on. And now if I sit at my desk and film, you know, a, a face, you know, you know, FaceTime with you or whatever, then uh, this microphone will really come in handy for that. Okay, so that's really nice. Oh, I love Roar and Klinger inks. I just love them. <clears throat> and that's a beautiful kind of a dusty purple. I'm not sure holding it up. Yeah, it's really wet. It needs to dry. So we'll do that at the end if we have time. Roar and Klinger. Scab Scabosia. Wow, I, ca I can't say that. I'm not really sure how. There, okay. Another pretty ink. Whoop, I got it on my knuckles now. I gotta start being careful. Okay, there's the third one. And then number four. <clears throat> oh, another Roaring Clinger. Salix. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm not really disturbing the back of these, you know. <laughs> I'm funny that way. <clears throat> Okay, I thought this microphone too would really work better if I get to do any walking videos in Vermont in the woods or wherever I may end up. Um, haven't not yet found a dash cam holder that looks like it would not destroy the <laughs> the dash of a rental car. I got to be really careful about that because I don't want to um, have to pay for some uh, you know uh, enterprise for a dash. But okay, oh this is a pretty blue. <clears throat> And make sure to remember to come over here and put some so that you can see what that looks like. That's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. We may have to turn this over for the other set of inks. <clears throat> okay, Roaring Clinger. And I just realized I'm forgetting something. I always like to put up in the corner the initials of the pen friend that sent the ink. Um... Whoops, that's wrong. It's S. Mercy. Oh, that's messy. I don't like messy. Oh, well, I, I'll have to get some white out later and fix that because I don't like those kinds of things. I'm fussy. Okay, DS. Yeah, it helps me. You know, how would I possibly remember? But I like to remember, and especially when I go ahead and profile the inks and I put in the on the bottom where the sample came from, I really do enjoy being able to, to do that, so... Okay, there's four. Let's see. Number five is <clears throat> right here, and it is Noodler's... Z mm, I should be able to say that. I believe I've heard that spoken. Let me hold it up so you can see it. Z Zavagio? <laughs> I'm not really sure how to say it. Sound like a broken record tonight. <clears throat> but I can't wait to see it. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's dark. Oh, I can see some interesting... As I put it down, I can actually see some color, <clears throat> like green or something, you know, kind of... It's probably going to be complex, but probably on the camera, it's going to look real black, 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 I would imagine. Oh, that's neat. And then you never know what it'll do on the Nick Stewart technique. When it, when it has some complexity, it's just amazing. Okay, we'll get some little... Whoops. Oh, sorry, I hit the hole. Yeah, yeah, I see that green coming in. Maybe you can see it. Maybe not because it's it's looking a little bit dark. But awesome. Okay, so this one, number five, is Noodler's. Z H I V A G O. Cool. Whoops, that's not the neatest handwriting. Okay, D S. Okay, so there's another one. Put it up there. 
I don't know how much you can see, but with, you're doing probably better with what the color looks like by looking at it down here right now because they're wet, they're not dry, and they're, they're all kinds of uh, distorted, sort of. Okay, let's turn this over. So number six is Noodler's Army Green. Awesome. Okay, I have had some kind of of a green, but I don't remember whether it was Noodler's Army Green. I'll probably be able to tell when I look at it. I, and, and the sample, I believe, is gone if it's... Okay, I had something similar to this, but I'm not sure if I had this same one. If I did, it's gone, though, and this is gorgeous. Oh, mercy, that's nice. <clears throat> it's gonna... It, it soaks into this cola ring paper, and it ends up looking dark, so let's give it a little shout out over here so you can see it. There we go. Oh, this is pretty. I think I started to say thank you and then I got off on some other mercy sakes. I'm excited. I mean, the pen mail just blew my mind and when I got the microphone too, I was really happy. I really have wanted for a long time to improve the sound on my videos and stop having to scream <laughs> or, you know, raise my voice and try to um, be heard. Let's see. Yeah, it's wet. It's wet, wet, wet. Wet ink. Okay, one more of this set. We're at 11 minutes. I think we're doing okay so far. Diamine Ox Blood. Oh, okay. I saw that almost three years ago. You know, when I started, I think I had two mil sample of this. <clears throat> I've heard a lot more about it. You know, and, and a lot of my, um, samples in the beginning that's all I had so I used them right down to the this was before I ever had a YouTube channel <laughs> I would use it all up right away you know um, when I get the samples and I didn't have quite as many then okay let's go ahead and give you a preview over here oh well, I think a lot of people are familiar with this one it's quite quite blood looking <laughs> okay there we go so we got those all in one place and that's good. So we'll put diamine. And this is just the beginning of what I do. I'll be, um, since they're coming in new like this, I'll be dividing them out into their color group. And then, you know, how every once in a while we have a voting or we decide what we're going to do next. Ox blood. And I kind of do keep them separate. They don't go into the um, shell boxes until we've had a chance to... Uh, either profile them or work with them longer. So that's a nice dark, deep blood red. Okay, so these, I was glancing at them before I started the video. I believe they're all Birmingham inks. So um, a lot of interest to all of us that have, whoops, I don't want that to come off, but it looks like it's gonna, okay. All of us have on the channel too have been really interested in the Birmingham inks. I just love them. Oh, there's a Lamy Bronze. Okay, so one is Lamy Bronze. Well, we might do that one first and then move on into the others, which I think are Birmingham inks. Gosh, this is just amazing. I'm, I'm glad, too, to do this video because it gets me doing this now, you know, keeping current because my trip will come and I don't want to come home and be feel like I'm behind. I, I probably will feel that way anyway, but... Maybe not, because I can always take my pen pal letters with me to answer. Um, I tend to have quite a bit of quiet time, you know, while the folks are working and and stuff. Oh, that's neat. It's orange. Lamy bronze, this is. Can you see that? Yeah, you can, you can kind of see that color coming through. <clears throat> see, that's what happens. Sometimes I notice that I lower my voice and I'm afraid at times you don't hear me. So I'll be really curious when this is over to see whether the microphone allows more hearing of what I'm saying. <clears throat> I hope it does. And uh, I did a little mini test that I was totally excited about. It, it was amazing. I said, I didn't know whether I'd even notice the difference. But I did immediately a one minute little uh, test that I did. <clears throat> bronze, okay, Lamy Bronze. That is gorgeous. And you get to see it here. There it is, whoops. Okay, I don't have a place to put them, so I guess I'll go ahead and put them with the others. All right, 
gotta kind of speed up here. I'm gonna run out of recording time. <clears throat> okay, this one is um, Birmingham Bob Prince Green Needle, Green Needle. <clears throat> My eye eyeballs were going every which way. Ooh, oh, this looks gorgeous. Oh, that's pretty. I think of Birmingham, I think of the darker inks. That's a bright, kind of a cheerful sort of, um, well, not Christmas green, but definitely in that league. Green, green. Green, green, green. Okay, let's see. We'll go up here, I guess. Now you've got shadows there. But, oop, a fly just went by. Okay. We have, when we let the cats in, it seems like we're getting flies this time of year. Okay. Um, Birmingham. Oh, I got some I didn't initial, and I really need to. They'll get all scrambled. Okay. That's the only one I forgot. Okay. This is SV. Oh, <laughs> these names are long. Bob. Prince. Green Needle. Oh, it's pretty. That's pretty, 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 pretty. Oh shoot! Can't see it real good till it dries. It's like glaring because it's, it's trying to dry. <clears throat> okay. Is that one? And then next. <laughs> you should see this desk. <laughs> it's an explosion. It's a complete explosion of stuff. <clears throat> okay. I'll do as many of these as I can, uh, before I realize that I'm gonna run out of. Uh, you know, viable recording time, and then I'll just um, go ahead and uh, end this video, and, and I'll show you, you know how I always show you what we have uh, coming up, or what there is, and you get to see these inks on comparison panels quite, quite a lot, so <clears throat> they won't be like you don't see them again because we're too busy with the ink journal. No, you'll see them as comparison inks. There, that's pretty. That's really neat. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Birmingham. Henry Ford. Oh, neat. A R U G U L A. Cool. Well, that is neat. I think you could probably see, yeah, you're seeing the color. What I'm seeing is coming out better on this paper right now till these dry, till they behave a little better. Okay. All right, let's do one more. Shoot, I thought I was hoping I could do them all, but I don't, I think it's not really very um, realistic <laughs> that I could do every single one because there are still four whole ones left. Ooh, winter. Garden Snowflake by Birmingham. Oh, doesn't that name sound neat? I love cool names. Oh, oh, that's gorgeous. It's like a teal. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. It is raining ink here at my house right now and, and I love it. I love it. I just, you know, I guess my mind keeps hopping to the trip, but but still, uh, what would I do if I wasn't busy waiting? I'd, it'd feel like forever, you know, the next four weeks or three and a half weeks. Whoops. I didn't put it down really thick. That's gorgeous. Woo! You know, I think I saw this somewhere. I'm not sure where. <clears throat> you know, with Instagram and all the other things I look at, who knows, but... Okay, Birmingham. Uh, Winter Garden Snowflake. That's a neat name. Winter Garden Snowflake. It's so funny. I keep turning my face toward the camera and toward the phone, trying to make sure you guys can hear me because I'm not used to having the microphone. Okay, well, let me show you just real quick, but it's not much use because it's, it's glary until they dry. It really changes things when they dry. Okay, I think I better not push it any further because I had just a couple little things to say. So I do have three more and I'll be doing those and I'll show them at the end of the next ink review. So this is um, Birmingham America's Oyster Bar Salmon. 
hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> That's a long name. And then there is Birmingham Luna Park Marmalade. Ooh, oh darn. Well, but you're, you'll see these. And then Birmingham Jane Grey Swiss Helm Daisy Lace. Wow. Talk about long. Okay, so these, these need to go back in the... See, that's the thing. It takes a minute to wrap up, so I didn't want to, like, I just, I had a couple things I really wanted to, to talk about really, really quick. Okay, so um, anybody who, who doesn't like crystals, this would be the time to, like, you know, hop out of the video, and, and, and I understand. Um, but I want to say one thing before I start about crystals. There, there, was, there was at least one person, possibly two, who may have misunderstood that, and kind of felt that uh, they didn't want to see my channel because I believed in, like, the crystals had power. Um, now, that's too controversial to get into, but, you know, I, I believe in our intentions, and, and, and I don't want to get into religion at all. Uh, definitely not. Definitely not. But uh, I somehow wanted to at least address that, that, that I don't, uh, you know, think that a crystal is going to cause things good or bad to happen. You know, I think our intentions and our um, thoughts about it and how we, how we live, that's what's important. But I do love crystals and I believe that everything has energy. But I really didn't want to get into beliefs. I just mainly, the thing is that I'm not planning to bring it back on a large scale, but I wanted to say thank you to viewers who have sent me these beautiful crystals. And this isn't today or this week. Some of it's been uh, ongoing. These are howlite, two pieces of uh, beautiful pieces of howlite. And then this one is agate and it's just gorgeous. And thank you to people who know that I love these things and are sending them. And then this one is a jasper piece. It's just gorgeous. Um, you know, I used to profile one after each video and the videos got too long and also the work has gotten a little different with the ink comparisons. This is a malachite. This is gorgeous. It's like a little malachite egg. And then this is a fluorite little bowl. It's just gorgeous. And I wanted to say special thank you. Of course, I've written letters and I'm still in the process of writing letters. But... Um, yeah, and uh, actually the Howlite, just really quick, was in the Crystals for Beginners. And it is, I know it's good for sleep. And so, um, oh, it's its really cool. It helps with attunement to the divine. See, I believe in a higher power in, in, in God. So I didn't want anybody to get the idea that, that I don't have... Um, you know, belief in, in a higher power, because it, it just, I guess, you'd have to be there. You'd have to see the one person who decided, you know, not to come here because of that. And I felt so bad for them, because I think that maybe it might have been a misunderstanding. But, um, okay, and it, it can help you reduce stress and ease extreme negative emotions. So that is really amazing. And, you know, I work with, with intentions, is what I work with. And those crystals remind me. And so related to that is this project I've been working on. Hopefully I haven't gone and offended, you know, 16 more people. I hope not, but I understand we're all different. These are the little crystal pouches that I'm making. And I'm just having a ball with it. Oh, just amazing. It's not my pattern. Um, these are some that I have. Um, that's a chevron amethyst and a little... Um, a rose quartz and a leopard skin jasper, three of my most uh, favorite little pieces. And this was the first one I made that came out right. I had, this was my third one before I got it to come out right. But it's crochet and it's, you know, it's like a little rounded piece. And so then I made a little one because I tried a smaller, kind of a, a smaller crochet hook and I'm just having a ball with this and I just wanted to show you because you know that's how I roll I like to share parts of my life too um, so that's what I'm doing um, gosh I'm thinking about some of the things I said and I, I don't actually edit videos so hopefully I haven't offended anyone you know or hurt feelings or scared anybody away this is a purple um, one that I did and then I, I did this little beige one. I mean, they're not fixed yet. They're not strong. I haven't decided. This one might have had a, a whole, yeah, this had a bunch of errors, but that's okay. It's still, kind of, it's funny. I'll use the ones that I make an error for myself. <laughs> that's how I end up doing it. 
So anyway, that's that's it. And please let me know. Did this sound sound better? You know, then our those of you who've watched my videos a lot probably know what it usually sounds like. And I know I I know what it usually sounds like. Sometimes there can be problems. So let's let's get together and and maybe in the comments let me know what you think. And um, and thank you for joining me and looking at some of these oh, beautiful inks that have come in. And thank you so much to those of you who have sent ink, not just now, but all along, because I, I do keep right up with this. So usually you see it by the time they're all mashed together, not in groups like this. Um, they're, they're hard to still to really see um, as they're, they're still really wet. I think I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, I got to get off here before I crash my entire system. But thank you very much for being here for my first real test video of using a microphone. It's quite a milestone for me, even though it only cost $15. I should have gotten it a long time ago. So thank you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.